transcending the Michigan Labor Legacy Landmark. Located in Philip A. Hart Plaza in downtown Detroit, near the intersection of Woodward and Jefferson. Sculptors David Barr and Sergio De Guzetti. Architect Charles Metz. Materials Steel and Vermont Granite. Date of installation 2003. In 2000, the Michigan Labor History Society established a nonprofit endeavor to create a monument that would celebrate the state's contributions to the labor movement. Funding was obtained from the United Auto Workers, from the Detroit area AFL CIO, and from a variety of other civic and labor organizations. Sculptors were invited to enter a competition and submit sketches of their designs. 120 artists entered the competition. The selection committee chose the sculpture you see, one called Transcending, by the artists David Barr from Livonia and Sergio de Guzzetti, an Italian sculptor living in Redford Township at the time of his selection. The two still arches, the work of David Barr, stretch 63 feet into Detroit's sky and weigh 30 tons. Barr saw them as an elegant, stylized gear emerging from the ground. They are not joined, and many assume that reminds viewers of the unfinished mission of the American labor movement. However, at night, a light projects from one of the arches at its zenith to the other. The sculptors assumed the viewers would focus on that light. To them, this light symbolized the energy of workers. At the base of the monument, you will see 14 Vermont granite boulders each six feet in height. The base reliefs on those impressive boulders are the work of Sergio de Guzzetti. They remind us of the sacrifices and achievements of American workers. Additionally, there are more than a dozen plaques commemorating the accomplishments of the American labor movement, such as the prohibition of child labor, free public school education, and employer-paid pensions and health care. This monument stands close to where Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. first gave his I Have a Dream speech in 1963, a speech that reached an even larger audience when Dr. King repeated its famous phrases at the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. on August 28th of that same year. Dr. King's optimistic phrase, the arc of history bends towards justice, is included in this sculpture. The Labor Heritage Foundation has 170 locations across the nation as American labor landmarks. This is one of 15 in Michigan. The only other such landmark in the city of Detroit is the mural of Diego Rivera in the Detroit Institute of Arts.